This week's edition of Inside the Diamond, I'm your host, Alex Beta. Today we find ourselves here at Shamana High, home of the Eagles. They're taking on the Alamini Warriors. And like always, we're gonna have nothing but the best. Interviews, highlights, and much more in just a bit. We have Kevin Llewellyn, who's going to Duke next year on the mound. We always have a chance no matter who we're playing, uh, to win a game. And uh, Kevin just pumped strikes the whole game. We're really proud of him. We didn't play defense behind him. They kept picking us up. So I'm really proud of Kevin today. With Alamany Warriors head coach Randy Thompson, tough loss today, coach 3-2 against Shamanau Eagles. How do you feel? Well, we know going in, you know, in this mission league, it's it's a grind every game. Uh, you know, you got 12 games, and you know, every game's gonna be a dog fight like the one today. You know, I think the, the team that ends up winning this league is gonna have three losses when it's all said and done. Uh, we just, uh, it's it's a very highly regarded league, and you know, it's it's, it's today we uh, we're on the short end of the stick. Welcome back, guys. I'm here with Shamanau's head coach, Frank Mutes. Big win today, coach. 3-2 over the Warriors. How do you feel? Oh, I feel good. To, to, put, to win league games, uh, to come out on top here, we grind through every single one in this league. And uh, the team that usually wins this league is about 8-4. and four. So right now we're up 2-1, to one and, and I feel good about it. The boys played well today. Every win is, is a big win, but it's a small win overall. And so they understand how this league works. Uh, we beat Notre Dame here and we went and lost 14 to 3 the following day. So they know that uh, they need to be ready for Friday. You know, Rene De Leon is uh, you know, our closer, and, and you know, we get to him, we like our chances because you know, he's 89 to 91 with a lot of sync. Uh, you know, so if we can get the game to him, then Nick Zunica, you know, he's, he's our Tuesday guy right now, and he's going to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. And, uh, you know, every time he goes out there, he gives us a chance to win. Hey, that's the back door down there, huh? We're now joined by the Eagles starting ace, Kevin Llewellyn. Kevin, you went six innings, four hits, and five Ks. How do you feel? I feel pretty well. Um, I mean, I've, I knew that when we, when we were playing Alamany that uh, it's always going to be a tough game. I mean, any Mission League game is going to be tough and it's going to be low scoring because um, that's how they all are. So we knew that the team who made the fewest mistakes today was probably going to come out with the victory. Um, so that's what we tried to do today and we were able to do it. So how big was this win for you guys? It was pretty big. Um, anytime you get a win over Alamany, um, it, it's a big push in the Mission League um, and we knew that the winner, the, the team that wins the Mission League, is they're going to have three or four losses because it's just, it's just that tough of a league. What do you think this win does for your whole ball club as a whole, getting ready for such a tough league that you have, which Harvard Westlake, Crespi's, Notre Dame's, and a team like this? Um, well, it's a really, it's definitely a great boost for morale. Um, if, if we lost today, I mean, we, it's, it's really tough to come back in the Mission League once you get down on the league standings. Um, so we just want to keep working hard and keep pushing through because we know it's going to be a grind this entire league schedule. Thank you for having us today. Great victory. Thank you. How do you compete year in and year out? Well, I think the, the key to that is, first of all, you got to have good athletes. And we're very fortunate here at Chaminade to have the type of athletes to be able to compete at that level. Second thing is, Kids that are committed to when we set up a plan, that they're willing to try and do everything they can to follow that plan, and these kids are committed to doing that. Great win today. Thank you for having us. You bet. Thank you. Best of luck. All right. Thank you very much.
take out of today's loss that helps you moving on forward? Well, today I, I thought we missed some opportunities offensively. Uh, you know, we uh, had the one rough inning, we gave three in the second, but uh, you know, we, we fouled off or we took some pitches I thought were, were mistakes and, and you know, pitches that were good to hit. Uh, you can't do that. You know, you know, Kevin Llewellyn's a heck of a pitcher, and uh, you know, when, he, when he does make a mistake and you don't make him pay for it, uh, you're going to pay for it in the end. That's it for today, folks, but stay tuned for next week's edition of Inside the Diamond.